Om Shanti, welcome back. Now we're doing the recording of 14th of October's Godly Blessing. Here in this blessing, Supreme Father simply says that sit on the seat of your experiences and become stable and concentrated so that with that experience with you, you can make better decisions in life. So let's see what does he want us to do so as to face the obstacles which we face in our life and use experiences for moving ahead. Godfather says, may you become free from obstacles and set your mind and intellect, set your mind, that is thoughts, intellect is a decision making entity, on the seat of an experience by practicing concentration and stability. So here in this meditation process, we practice concentration on the supreme point or the supreme point of light, the supreme energy. You can call him God, you can call him Jehovah, you can call him Allah, or you can call him point of light, you can call him quantum field, or the source of energy, of purity, of power, or you can call him metaphysical field, anything. But we need to focus on that supreme energy, while considering ourselves to also be that infinite energy as a soul. That's how the concentration power increases. And stability. Stability comes when our thoughts are pure, positive and free of waste. So God says the power of concentration easily frees you from obstacles. For this, set your mind and intellect on the seat of an experience. The power of concentration automatically enables you to experience belonging to the one father and none other. So you are focused on the Supreme Creator. Your mind is not distracted anywhere. You're not thinking about people, you're not thinking about things, you're not thinking about tomorrow, you're not thinking about past. And you're focused and then the beautiful experience of lightness brings about the solution for the obstacle. Gordon says the power of concentration automatically enables you to experience belonging to the one father and none other. So no dependencies, no thing, nothing and no thing and no person. By doing this, you're stage will easily become constant and stable. You will then have an attitude of benevolence towards everyone. With the practice of concentration, you will have a vision of brotherhood. So when we are stable and constant in our mind and not dependent on anything, only then can we think of helping somebody else. But if you are thinking about our own troubles all the time, focusing on them, no concentration, there is zero concentration, no stability. And how can you help somebody else? How you can be benevolent to somebody else when you are not yourself concentrated and stable? Golden says, with the practice of concentration, you will have a vision of brotherhood. Such a soul can never have weak sanskars or get upset with any soul matter or royal form of maya you can't get upset with any soul with five elements matter or royal form of maya that means any impure thoughts lust anger greed ego attachment you cannot give in to them you cannot give in to any soul for they are against you or talking against you or feeling against you, you cannot give in to that that means you won't have any upheaval even if they are saying certain things which you don't agree to or say for yourself, they are saying something to you, something about you, something related to you. And matter, the five elements, even your body cannot affect you. Any element in the body doesn't bother you. Disease doesn't bother you. When you don't give any heat to the disease, it goes away. So this is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris in a deeper level. How to do concentration is the main first step. And second step is stability, which comes automatically with the divine learning. You too can attend the seven day course and then go ahead with advanced lessons. With this Om Shanti.